Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Surrey Valley. If you're new here, my name is Haley. If you haven't seen last week's video, I highly recommend you check it out. It was day one, so we got to see our farm. Uh, we planted some crops, cleaned it up a little bit. But today we're just gonna keep on going with that. Stay tuned, see where it takes us, maybe meet some new people, who knows? Um, but yeah, let's go. All right, so we're back at it. It's 6 a.m. It looks like we only have 340 gold, but that's no big deal. Our goal is to get that ranked all the way up to a million. It's another day in the life of being a farmer. Let's start with checking the weather report. It's welcome back to KOZV5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now for the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. So normally when it rains all day, um, that's like when you're supposed to like upgrade your watering can and stuff. Uh, I haven't gone mining or anything yet, so I don't think I'll do that. But it might be a good day for us to really like, like tomorrow might be a really good day for us to like get out there and explore and meet some people because we don't have to worry about watering our crops or anything. I might also go buy some crops today just because why not? Um, let's see what the fortune teller has to say. Ah, I sense that a new viewer has joined us. A young lady from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. Spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. All right, nice. So let's start by putting away this extra stuff back in our chest. And let's go. Oh, looks like we have some mail. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Maybe. Well, Piers got you covered. Stop by Piers General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. He's confident. Another letter. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Nice. Maybe we'll go visit Willie. I'm going to turn this music back up just a little bit more. There. Let's see. Gotta water all these crops. Always kind of tedious in the beginning, but we'll get there slowly but surely. I also just like the symmetry of this right now, how they're all grown perfectly. Got that little extra row right there. Gotta go back down and fill in our watering can. <laughs> Let's start by going to the general store. Oh yeah, it's open at nine. I always thought that was so frustrating. And that probably won't be open yet. Maybe we can walk with Shane up to the Jojo Mart. Or can we go visit Willie? Let's go to the beach. Ninky Minjaj. There he is. Smoking his pipe, look how cool he is. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul, I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Dang. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing, the art of fishing stays alive and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. It's a business boy. Cute. I received a bamboo pole. Why does it look sad? There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what my old pappy used to say anyway. I mean, okay, it's a little weird, but I guess he's not wrong. <laughs> nice, now we can fish. Let's, let's try it out. I remember the first time I ever played Stardew Valley, it took me literally like a, a, an actual week worth of playing to figure out how to fish because it didn't make sense to me. And even now I'm like kind of bad at it, but 
after a while, maybe I will get good at it again. Who knows? So peaceful though. Nothing's biting. Oh look. We got our first fish. It's a herring. Look at that. Maybe we'll keep it for now and we can go check out what's in his shop. He's got soup, some other poles. Oh, they have a training rod now. That's new. And they have little fish tanks, Fisher double bed. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Is there anything else down here? I remember yesterday when we were at the beach, there was a bunch of stuff. Ooh, what's this? Hmm, 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. Maybe we will try to get some wood and see what's over there. Let's go back up. The general store should be open by now. Oh, look, it's Lewis. So how was your first night at the old cottage? Not bad. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved the house. I didn't think the bed was that bad. So not the saloon, maybe tonight. <laughs> we'll go in here. Hello, Pierre. So we already have parsnip seeds and potato seeds, but I'm thinking that maybe we get some bean starters two maybe three and we can get one cauliflower and maybe one tulip just for good measure um i didn't want to spend all my money at once but it seems that we're probably gonna have to do that and it's not lewis's birthday yet but we should probably figure out what he likes so we can get him a present who's over here my husband Kent is a soldier working overseas, that's why he's not here right now. Oh, I know he'll come back safe once his tour is over. She's so confident. Need something? Oh, I thought we were having a conversation. But... Okay. Who is this? Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town, Emily. I, if you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. All right, I like her dress. Back to the farm, we can plant some more. How did I miss these two? What the heck? All right, maybe we put the bean starters up here. It's cause those trellises always get in the way. Water those bad boys up. Here's the cauliflower, and it's gonna be uneven, so maybe we can put the tulip right down here, and maybe we'll get some more. That looks good for now. What should we do? What should we do? So we still need to harvest a parsnip, and we need to meet, it looks like, nine more people. Let's see, who have we not met yet? We haven't met Haley, Pam, Haru, so many people. Okay, maybe we take a trip to good old Demetrius's house, Demetrius and Robin's house. We can check out what Robin has for sale. Ugh, I'm not in a good mood right now. I said I'm not in a good mood. What do you want? All right then, jeez. Like, Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. Mm -hmm. What do we got up here? Seal Community Center. Can I go inside yet? No. And I believe over here. Oh look, who's that? Is it my, my arch enemy? Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Of course, like, come on. Why does she have to be all rude like that? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. 
All right, hmm. if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. Excuse you, at least I'm not all like, you're just standing here, what are you doing? At least I'm doing stuff. You think you're so cool. Your hair's pretty, but that's it. That's all you are. Boring little. We all know who the better Haley is here. Come on, people. <sighs> Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. <laughs> Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. Oh. I don't think anybody's home. Where's Robin? Sorry, shop's closed for the day. I'm at Caroline's place for aerobics club. I mean, nice, but that's too bad. Can we go in any of their rooms yet? No. Is anyone over here? No. Might have been a waste for us to come here. Doesn't look like, oh. Hello. Oh, you just moved in right. Cool. He's so like edgy. He almost looks like Ollie with that little haircut. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? I didn't choose it, but I don't hate it. It's kind of nice. All right, nice to meet you too. Well, let's see, who else do we have to meet? We need to meet so many people, including Haru and she's not here. And Robin, let's go up here. There he is, a stranger. Hello, look at Linus, such an outdoorsman. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. I always feel so bad for him. Let's check out his house. What does he got going on? He has like a little book, a little toolbox, a little light almost, kind of cute, kind of quaint. I don't mind it. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to turn that off. Can I sit here now? No, I thought that, I thought they added sitting, but maybe those aren't for sitting. I mean, that's cute. Also, I would never understand what these things are. They look like Furbies, they're so sketchy. I think they're for warping, but I don't like them. Oh no. Uh, I think we have to blow something up to get back there, wait a couple days. It's too bad. Maybe we try to catch a fish in the pond up here. The waiting game for fishing is always the worst part. What do we get? We got a chub, a little chubby chub. Dang. All right. Let's keep going. Maybe we go back to town and we try to meet some other people. Look, a leak. Oh look, another one. What are you doing up here? Just chilling? Just chilling. All right, back to town. I always love the little pathways and how they're kind of imperfect. Oh look. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? It's Maru, I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Man, she's, she's so cool. She's actually so nice though. Let's go this way. I hope I don't get stuck. Nah, we're good. Let's see. Let's check out this trailer right here. Anybody home? Nobody's home. What's that green stuff right there? Like mucus, it's nasty. Dang. Who else can we find? There's Sam right here. Oh, hi, it's good to see you again. Take it easy. That, all right. <laughs> Our beloved Mona. Oh, I don't know what that says. Looks like Latin. It's old and faded. Can't read that one. What happened to the music? Look. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place whoa, place for the last few months. It helps me out with the chicken. He helps me out with the chicken, so I'm not complaining. Cute. Anything else? 
you open? Think anyone's in the saloon by now? Oh, we found a red plate full of antioxidants. We could use that someday. There she is. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Look at that eyeshadow. Dang, showstopper. Hey Gus, give me another round. Hick. Oh, that's all she says. Hi, please relax and enjoy yourself. That's all he says. What do you say? Nothing. Ooh, you can buy recipes from him. Maybe not right now, but at some point we will. He's got so many red plates in stock. Why did it, why was one in the trash? He can't talk either. Is anyone over here? No. Maybe at some point we'll try to beat your name to the Prairie King, but I've never been able to do that. What's this? No idea. All right, well, I guess that's it for tonight. Can we not talk? If you want me to upgrade your tools, you'll have to give me the correct ore. Is that all you talk about is work? You have to pay me a fee, of course. Well, of course, how could I not? Let's see. We still haven't met three, one, two, three, four people. We could go try to meet the wizard. I don't know if his thing is time specific or not though. We haven't met Yas. We met Vincent, but not Yas. Oh my gosh. There's a whole theory that Yas is um, the wizard's daughter, which is kind of interesting because it doesn't make sense that Marnie would have actually been her mom, but I don't know. I kind of hope that he plays more into that story. Even though he kind of already has, but still. Dang, it's locked, we can't, we can't visit. Let's try to get to the wizard, but I don't know if we will be able to. It's also so dark and sketchy, and our farm is gonna be all dark and sketchy. It's getting so dark, I can barely see. Oh. Locked. You can hear someone inside though. Hmm. Well, maybe now that we've tried to get up in there, he'll he'll let us in sometime. Who knows? Gotta run back home before it gets too late. Ah! I don't see any monsters, which is weird. Thought they're supposed to always come out. I almost want to wait and see. Do you guys see anything? I don't see anything. Hmm. Well, let's go over here. We can sell this leak. Um, maybe we won't sell the fish for now. But I think that was a pretty, it wasn't a super eventful day, but we met a lot of good people. Um, let's go to sleep. We leveled up in foraging. Plus one axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New craft, craft, crafting recipe. Wild seeds. And a field snack. Nice. Awesome. for today's episode. I know it wasn't like super, super eventful, but we're still starting off and we're trying to meet all the people in the town so we can like live it up, be all social, a little socialite. Um, I think in tomorrow's episode, we're gonna do a little bit more exploring just cause it's gonna be raining. So we won't have to water our farm or really tend to it. Um, I might do some like behind the scenes, like chopping down of trees and such, unless you guys want to see that in this video. But anyways, uh, we'll see you guys next Wednesday with another Sturdy Valley video. Bye-bye.